We are a year into the coronavirus pandemic with health officials working to vaccinate people hoping to wipe out COVID-19. The plan is to reach herd immunity, the phenomenon that occurs when a majority of the population, the herd, develops resistance, the immu immunity. And there are six companies selected to achieve that with their own vaccines. ClickOrlando.com, Brianna Bowles is here to explain where they stand. Well, ladies, some of these companies have become household names. The U.S. selected a few companies last summer with the start of Operation Warp Speed, the project meant to help roll out vaccines. Now, over the year, these six have made the final cut. You can see them here in the wall. Pfizer broke records, creating the nation's first coronavirus vaccine. And a week later, the FDA approved Moderna's candidate. Both require two shots to build protections against the virus. Johnson & Johnson's single-dose vaccine recently got approval, too. It's under the name Janssen, a division under the company. Now, the buzz about this vaccine is how cost-effective it can be since you only need one shot. But during trials, it doesn't prove to be as effective as two shots of Pfizer or Moderna's vaccines. Though we already have three vaccines to choose from, there could soon be three more. One name we've heard floating around is AstraZeneca. Similar to Pfizer and Moderna, patients will need two doses for maximum protection. But you could wait up until 12 weeks for the second shot. And it's actually more effective the longer you do wait. Researchers also think it can reduce the transmission of the virus from person to person. Now, the European Union already approved it for emergency use, but it still needs to present its vaccine to the FDA. Then there's Novavax, which is headquartered in Maryland. Their vaccine will also require two doses and proves to even protect against the quickly spreading UK variant. The US and Mexico are testing out this vaccine candidate, hoping to get 30,000 people on board for their trials. It will likely get approval outside of the US before being rolled out here. Now, Sanofi isn't quite in the game yet, but you can call these scientists overachievers. They're actually working on two different vaccines. Sanofi had to scrap its first trial two months into it after information showed it didn't really protect older adults from the virus, which is crucial. They just recently restarted with more research support. Now, they're hoping to have doses ready for distribution before the end of the year. But the United Kingdom has already called dibs on the first 60 million doses. As for their second vaccine, the company says it isn't quite ready for clinical trial just yet. Now, if all goes well, the hope is to have six vaccines to help achieve herd immunity. You can get, you can get a closer look at these options right now on ClickOrlando.com. And of course, we'll also keep you updated on how all of these clinical trials shake out. Ladies.